Hello again, it's Michael from Fujifilm. The uh, introduction into the market of the GFX 100S in early 2021 came about two years after the introduction of the original GFX 100 large format digital camera. Now, in those two years, uh, the engineers have found ways to improve the capabilities of the GFX system. And even though these two cameras share the same sensor and the same processor, the GFX 100S came out with some things that were better than this body. Well, now that all changes with the firmware 4.00 for the GFX 100 that came out on June 30th. Uh, the most notable of which probably would be the improvement in autofocus performance. Uh, so for those of you that have this camera, the firmware update for autofocus alone is worth it. It gives you better low light sensitivity, much better tracking, much better accuracy, much better speed. Uh, the stabilization of the entire system is improved. So because of the coordination between the in-body image stabilization of the sensor and the optical image stabilization of the lenses is now much better in terms of acceleration and frequency. And you get about a half stop improvement. And with 102 megapixels, any kind of improvement in stability is definitely welcome. Uh, the GFX 100 now gets the new uh, film simulation called Nostalgic Negative, which is a look I really, really like. I mean, I hope you try it. Um, and then it gets a variety of other functional improvements in the menu uh, and added capabilities for some of the processing. Um, things like you can now change the autofocus box during live video recording. Uh, when you pull the SD card, the camera won't shut down, so you can do hot swaps of the SD card. The button here on the top, the large gray button to the right on this camera, is the drive mode button. And up until firmware 4.0, the way it worked was it would give you a choice of two options depending on how the lens aperture was set. So you would get either manual or aperture priority or program mode shutter priority. Okay, that's now changed. This is still, by default, the drive mode button, but when you press this now, you get a little pop-up on the screen or in the EVF that lets you directly choose all four PASM and not just two or two. So you can just navigate with the joystick, pick what you want, and change the mode. Um, this is irregardless of how the lens is set. So you can go into full program mode even with the lens set to a fixed aperture. Now, this button can be reassigned to some other function if you don't want it to be the drive mode. Don't panic because now in the menu, the very, very first line in the full camera menu is the shooting mode. Okay, so you can reassign that top button to something else and still go into menu and choose PASM when you need to. Uh, the Q button on the back. If you never use it for shortcut purposes, you can reassign the Q button now to become a regular function button of something else. Something else video related that uh, is important is the GFX 100 and the 100S will output ProRes RAW files when paired with uh, the Atomos Ninja V recorder. Okay. Unfortunately, what was missing was in the metadata, there was no information for ISO and color temperature, uh, white balance, I should say. So that's now been fixed. So with the GFX 100 and with the new firmware that also came out for the 100S on June 30th, that has now been fixed in the ProRes RAW. And now when you go into Final Cut, you can make those changes. As ever, the firmware updates are available at fujifilm-x.com under support. See you next time.